Hello everyone, sorry for my shaky camera work, but um, I don't know if you guys happen to entirely know, but HP computers have their own diagnostic software built into their startup. So in order to get here, what you can do is you're going to spam the F2 key. That's not in focus, but um, basically all that you have to do is when your computer starting up before the operating system begins loading, um, you're going to want to spam F2. So before the Windows flag loads, before the spinning circles appear, and there's probably other operating systems that I'm not thinking of here that people may be running, such as Linux distributions, but if I went over every single one of them, I would A, know very useless information, and B, <laughs> I would be wasting time, like I am now. But um, with the HP diagnostic software, you can view your system information, symptom tests, system tests, component tests. You can manage your firmware. You can also view test logs, and obviously you can change the language to a few select languages. Actually, it's not a few select. Because <laughs> it seems like we have a lot of them here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's go back up and find English because I am not intending to change the language. So, um, basically with this computer here, we're in the diagnostics for a very good reason. And it's that the computer is having power issues. Basically, the battery, we've left this computer on charge for over a month. Um, and we've also left it on charge for over a week. And in both instances, we have not seen a change in the battery life. It's permanently stuck at zero, and we can't do much about it. So it has to run off of power because it's just the battery stuck at zero permanently. So that counts as the seventh issue shown here. And if you really care enough, you could absolutely run all of them, which would be just a simple question mark, but um, for this, we're just going to run a simple 7, because we don't have any other issues with this device. So, it'll give you a brief description, no matter where you go for your diagnostic, and you can just press run once, or however many, if it gives you the option for until an error, and in a few moments, we should have our verdict. And as we see, the battery is bad. So before I think I had an option to continue the, uh, I think it was with the extensive test, but I had the option to continue once it figured out that there was a battery problem. So it's going to do all those tests. And once we get any sort of um, information about certain things, I will, uh, well, as long as it's bad information, I'll unpause the video and we can go ahead and see what's up. Our first error is exactly like before, but this time we have the option to continue. So we're going to continue and it will run a charging port test, which also apparently failed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So I ended up pausing the video before I thought that it would end up uh, showing it, but alright, yeah. I guess we also have a charging port problem. So basically, this is our outcome of the system tests. And the software error, I'm not entirely sure about, but at least we figured out what was going on with the rest of the system. So. Hopefully this was helpful to someone because, well, I entirely forget about this existing sometimes. So maybe in the future I'll be coming back to this and we'll see. Have a good one.